Are you doing all the right things to lose weight, but still maybe the scale's not moving or you don't see any change happening? Be encouraged. It's Kathy here with Weight Loss God's Way. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I got some news from my doctor uh, last week. She said that I was borderline diabetic. And that was pretty discouraging because I work out every day. I eat relatively healthy. I think I eat healthier than the average, um, probably above average. And yet I got this uh, upsetting report. And um, as I prayed, I realized that, <clears throat> you know what? Imagine how much worse things could have been if I wasn't taking care of my health. So the truth is, yes, there's a history of diabetes in my family, but I had to look at all the positive. I'm not diabetic. I don't have to take medication and I can continue to do all that I can so that it does not get worse. It also caused me to look at the areas where I am slacking off all the areas where I am allowing sugar to creep in. And it reminds me of, yeah, at Christmas, I uh, broke my boundaries quite a bit. While I was on vacation, I broke my boundaries quite a bit. So sometimes news like this can be an opportunity for us to reassess and say, hey, are we really doing as well as we, are, we think we are? And secondly, there's some things we have to accept. Right, so even though I exercise, this is something that is passed down. I don't have to uh, just give in and say, oh well, I'm just gonna you know, give in to diabetes and go on medication and eat and do whatever I want. I still have to be diligent. I still have to do my part. And it means for me, I probably have to work a little bit harder than the average person on not allowing sugar into my diet. And so that might be the case for you. And the truth is, it's not fair, right? It's not fair that there are certain kinds of illnesses uh, that might have been passed down. It's not fair also that, you know, some people are uh, have, you know, are from the right pedigree or, or, I mean, there's all kinds of things that we can say it's not fair that certain people have and others don't. But it's life and we have to accept it. And so think about something that you've been saying it's not fair. Or think about, you know, how hard you've been working and you didn't get the results you want. What can you learn from it? How can you adjust? And what do you need to accept? What can you learn from it? What do you need to just to adjust? And what do you need to accept? Those are three questions I want you to think about today. Go ahead and share your responses with me. I pray that this blesses you. Um, these are three questions that I had to ask myself. And um, yeah, it, it definitely was cause for a pause for me to reassess and see where I, I've been lying to myself. See where I've been telling myself, yeah, you're doing so good, but really I was allowing sugar to creep in. And so it's put me back on, the, on, on, the, on a stronger path than I had before and accepting that, yeah, I will have to, I don't get as much grace in this area. Um, as some others who don't have, who aren't predisposed. And that's it. And I accept it and I'm grateful for my health and, and um, I encourage you to do the same. So I pray that that blesses you. I pray that it encourages you to keep on moving despite setbacks, despite not seeing the results that you want or thought think you should have. And realize that it's not always going to be just uh, A plus B equals C. There's all kinds of trials and turns and setbacks in there that we can't control. So that's where we allow uh, God to come in and we give him the control. 
God bless you. I'll end it there. Hit subscribe if you're new. Check out all kinds of other videos I have on all things faith and health and achieving your healthy weight and ending yo-yo dieting. And also check out some of my other uh, social media platforms also. I try to uh, share as much as I can on various platforms. God bless you. Bye-bye.